R slash quit your bullshit top post of all time. Things a little crooked back there. Actually, I'll fix it because I already know somebody back there gonna be just looking at that the whole time. And then, okay, it's a few focusing on my beautiful face and luscious locks. It's your boy Chavez here out in Vegas during the summertime and I'm enjoying every moment of it. Finally getting back to running every morning. Oh, in the heat. Oh, you can't stop it out here. It feels great. So here we go. Fresh. Quit your bullshit. Top post on Reddit. Let's do it. Here we go. Ah, damn. It's been a long ass build up, but we're here. I have something in my eye and it's making it very difficult to watch this video. So I've already seen like 10 seconds of it, but I'm starting over. Kind what? of reminder. The X chromosome contains 1,098 genes. The Y chromosome has only 78 genes. The X chromosome is over five times larger than the Y. Sipping my smart juice. It's science. <laughs> Female are superior. Ah, is that how it works? Hence hundreds of years of chauvinism to try to suppress her. Ha. Good night. This nigga said good night. That's the whole, these points I've made are the only ones that matter. Onions have more DNA than humans. <laughs> and amoebas have 200 times the size of the genomes that humans do. So, good night. I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. My dog's pillow fell to the roof a couple days ago. It has a new owner now. According to your Twitter feed, you must have around 10 dogs, 20 cats, one and a half horses, three rabbits, two girlfriends, and three wives. <laughs> India lost a three billion dollar submarine because someone Sweet. forgot to close the hatch. All right, time to debunk the fake news. <laughs> Get him! One, the submarine doesn't have any hatch, and two, it's perfectly fine and even conducted a deterrence patrol last year. You've got to be kidding me! Wow! But that's how Reddit works. Nobody bothers to verify any facts. Verifying facts is one of my favorite things to do on the internet. As you've seen when uh, in a video and I just randomly start Googling things or talk about Googling things later, it's great. Honestly, that's not really exclusive to Reddit. I think a lot of places, a lot of forums across the internet have similar problems of people not really verifying any information. All of us are guilty of it at some point. But this post, which was entirely fabricated in an event that never happened, is that not the onion? Does that mean it's the onion? So are we getting r slash whooshed here? I'll look it up later. <laughs> no, we're just talking about it. I'll Got look it up later. Got to r slash all with like 60,000 upvotes. That's some next level stuff. Down 25 pounds, and it only took two bottles in six weeks. Two bottles of what? Well, you know. I'd say oh, it sounds 15? like an MLM shill, but at the same time, the results speak for them. This is fake. It's me in the pictures, and I lost the weight with diet and exercise. <laughs> oh, what These the pages fuck? continue to steal my photos. They're stealing my photos. It is an MLM shill. Nice. <laughs> Do you wish the Buddhists a happy Buddha day? No. I thought so. Oh, you mean like we did literally just this morning? <laughs> look at that. There's a picture of them doing it. Got my baby face. So good. I didn't know there was a Buddha day. I'm not Googling it right. I'll do it later. Fuck. She had a double heart attack five days later. She died. According to your post history, she died of CHD, which is when plaque builds up in the arteries over time. According to the source below, it's a common birth defect and nearly 40,000 babies are born with it. I'm sorry for your loss, but wow. according to your own Facebook page, you made an entire page asking for prayers because you already knew of her condition. Wow. Please keep the lies to yourself. Damn, that's fucked up. Damn, damn, damn. This woman is willing to go so low as to literally use her dead baby as a made-up talking point to push some anti-vax agenda. And why? I don't even understand then, like, if you're not really affected by it, why do people lie to be affected? Like, I just think people don't have enough shit to do every day, for real. Because, like, this shit, I've seen this shit happen so often where people will make up, like, themselves in an injury in a case. And then argue about it for no reason. Stop. I am a fighter. It doesn't hurt a soul. You punched my daughter's friend in the face when you thought she was videoing you. Wow. Oh, would you look Damn. at the clock? 
looks like it's time for Called Out, a new segment <laughs> in which I have to quit someone's BS for them. You might have thought this post looked familiar because, well, you've probably seen it already. Not only had I seen it and could recognize it as a repost, I have the receipts. Here's a quick screenshot Let's from a video it. I published on November 28th, 2018, Bow. timestamp 548. Bow. This could be a call out to the subreddit because the uh -huh. post in question received 1.8 thousand upvotes over the last 20 days. Got even you. It's been around for at least half a year in that exact form, but instead, I'm going to call out the user. Uh. Around the same time, he posted this image in r slash quit your BS, which was first posted there on October 30th of 2018. <laughs> And he managed to get 13.7 thousand upvotes from that repost. Which do nothing for you at all, other than satisfy your own vanity. Maybe not the right word there. Moving on. <laughs> enough, from a guy who managed to farm so much karma from these obvious reposts. Moving on. Here's him calling someone out literally a day ago in r slash shower thoughts for, you guessed it, a repost. <laughs> Assuming a repost. Nice going there, bud. Yeah. Well, he would know because he is the one doing the reposting. When a woman says five minutes, think like five minutes left in the fourth quarter and both teams have all their timeouts. Could have just retweeted me, bro. Oh, look at that. <laughs> he said the exact same thing, but I don't know, probably a couple of weeks earlier. Unfortunately, the original poster had around a thousand likes and 147 retweets, and the guy who just wholesale stole his tweet got 341,000 likes Damn. Damn. Also, this is all a moot point. Sex is for marriage. Bitch. So we wouldn't have Bitch. these issues if it wasn't for not listening to Bitch. God. Bitch! <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Didn't you have a kid out of wedlock? Your head is so far up your own ass. It's literally breathtaking. Why are you talking, then? Stop talking! Oh, a little oh, murder by word sneaking in there. You'll love fuck. to see it. Ran into a guy at Disney World. Both of us simultaneously. Oh, sorry. Pause and look at each other. Illinois? Nebraska. He high fives me. Midwestern things. I mean, that stuff does happen, though. Like, when, when um from Nevada, and when somebody says Nevada, me and somebody else go Nevada at the same time. It's It happens, though. I honestly believe this could have happened. Like, it seems yeah. wildly plausible to me. But at the same time, the only thing more Midwestern than cheese, potato salad with way too much mayonnaise, and basically being Canadian is thinking the phrase, oh, sorry, is in any way exclusive to the Midwest. Sincerely, a northerner who both says and hears that phrase regularly. Okay. <laughs> How my dog got it. I didn't know it was that serious. I'm from the West Coast. Kinda. Not really the coast. I'm from the desert. The West Desert doesn't sound good, so I don't An say that. Anal prolapse. Nope. Not touching that one. Thank you. Oh, what the hell? The hotel I just stayed at in Hawaii didn't card me at the bar, and I somehow managed to get extremely wine drunk, FaceTime a ton of subscribers, then I blacked out and I just woke up in Colorado, and I simply have no idea how I got on my flight? Hell MFAO, what? So she claimed she purchased a ticket for and boarded a six plus hour flight between Hawaii and Colorado, all while blackout drunk, despite the fact that every major airline, like its outline in JetBlue's contract of carriage, reserves the right to deny boarding to, and I quote, persons who appear they to be intoxicated will. or under the influence of drugs. And they will if it's a long ass flight. Also, they will on a shit. six hour flight that would likely be around $1,000. This was fun. I was at a grocery <laughs> store and this fun. happened true story well if they say true story it has to that's be. how you know a six-year-old boy mom can i have that doll no boys only play with action figures we don't want you to be gay some <laughs> gay passing by some gay passing by what the fuck what the fuck is wrong with girl, you girl i turned out great what are you on about everyone around us started laughing why? What kind of an expression what? is that? Some gay passing <laughs> Some gay, by, bro. good lord. So there I was, just trying to do my grocery shopping, and then this gay comes out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, try it with the. The gays would have been better. The gay comes around. It's way more offensive. So, next Tuesday oh, is fuck, dress dude. up like your future career at my daughter's school. I said, Stripper? Well, Please say she want wants to be a stripper. Say it. Reply, it may be too much for elementary school. Okay. Huh? What? 
I want to be a Victoria's Secret model. Oh, what to do? Um, she's in first grade. Bro ham. If you're Bro. sexualizing children and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap. Like, not me. I'm pointing at the whatever. Whores. You're all whores. Fucking shit. Dip. Dumb shit. Shitheads. What is it? How the fuck is it? How what is it? What does this one mean? I fucking forgot. You were there for the cursing, the, the cursing and sign language video. Uh, you. Am I doing this right? Whore? Name in Starbucks is Am I doing it? The Lord be with you. When the barista shouted my name, half of the customers yelled, and also with you. Absolutely not. They absolutely did and not. And the other do that. half shouted, and with your spirit. They did they absolutely did not do that. And it was a right ecumenical mess. Try it. Don't fucking try that. Do not try that. And when I did go to church with my family, and y'all know why I stopped, I told you. Uh, uh, when we did, when they did do that uh, at my church, they changed that shit up every other week, any goddamn ways. There'd be no way they would know what to say. <laughs> then everybody clapped. What does he have to say about it? The hell does ecumenical mean? <laughs> Don't Google it. Google it. Representing a number of different Christian churches. Okay. So they're saying that them having this be their Starbucks name yeah. brought a, a number yes. of Christians. Yes. It brought Christians together. But anywho, then I'll see y'all. Peace.